well hello there are so many videos talking about happiness and these videos are coming from people who truly are not happy themselves a number of times in life definitely a lot of things is go are going to happen in life to get on your nerves to get you sad to get you unhappy there were times in my life that i felt that if i had some number of things i was going to be happy i started getting as much as i could i got a few of the things i felt would make me happy i wouldn't lie you but that was a temporal happiness it's I've said it some time ago in my previous videos because those things i acquired at some point i had to maintain those things and it required lots of effort lots of time and it began to drain me and i felt i thought this thing having this thing was going to make me happy but it looks like this thing is becoming too exhausting for me so i thought to myself getting all these things that i've always wanted to do they really make me happy you all have that feeling when pain, you feel disappointed you feel there is nothing that gives you that satisfaction you don't have that fulfillment Fulfillment. No matter what you get, you find it difficult to actually point out what is the cause of this issue. So ladies, I want to share with you a few tips that has helped me to be happy and stay happy. I know you told your friend you're not okay. You're welcome back to another video. My name is Ngozi. I film all these ladies. So the first thing you have to take note of is happiness is a thing of the mind. Ladies, it's a mindset. This is the foundation. It's just like when you set your phone to night mode or dark mode, nothing is going to change it. It will remain dark. Come hell or high waters. So if you set your mind to get easily irritated easily offended you have put yourself in the position that you always be angry trust me ladies little things will prick you up so you have to learn to put yourself in a position where things don't get on your nerves so if you set your mind that way no matter what happens you are always vibing it's not as if you're not going to get angry but you are not letting that anger to stay too long because you're consciously telling yourself girl i choose happiness and you find yourself taking the parts that will sustain your happiness which leads me to the next point to be happy you have to find activities that will sustain your happiness ladies i understand that possessing properties are not going to be make you happy there are parts you can take that will help you to stay happy for instance the choice of friends you have believe it or not the company you have they are going to rub on your happiness if you have joy killers as friends going to look gloomy and moody if you have friends that don't appraise you they don't tell you how cute you look they don't appreciate anything about you ladies your self-esteem is going to drop at the minimal level so any company that is going to diminish that joy cut off as long as that thing you're doing is not addicting you are not doing drugs you are not in alcohol you are not doing anything stupid porn and all the rest of it i don't solicit that yes i'm a christian if some of you don't know i believe in living right pleasing god I believe in doing the right thing honoring god with your lifestyle so ladies try as you can to associate yourself with companies that once you just hear their voices you are like oh your highest vibing mode is activated so the next one is try to reward your efforts because i know that savings is good but as much as we save as ladies we have to build the attitude of trying to reward every effort when you have a delayed gratification that process can cause you some sort of gloomy feelings maybe you want to buy there is that gratification you get when you reward your effort tell yourself thank you for the job well done okay i'm not saying that you become frivolous and not have long-term plans i'm not the way ladies to be happy is to have positive mindset your thoughts whatever you think reflects on your face reflects on your attitude your manners the way you relate with people the way you talk with people organize arrange your frame of thought think positive think good i know somebody who said don't stay in a particular place in africa because she feels she's going to die you know when that thought is already ongoing in her mind even if something that doesn't warrant death happens she may end up dying and i say girl if you're having these thoughts please take a leap move out of this environment and she left this also leads me to the next one which says that you owe yourself happiness so if you tell yourself that my happiness depends on me and not on my job not on my friends not on anyone else you're going to see it as a responsibility and a duty that you must carry out for yourself but if you feel that somebody owes you that if you have this entitlement mentality you end up being the victim and people will end up taking you for granted because nobody wants a part of life that you are bored with prioritize your happiness ladies to be happy i will say it's in my opinion 
question food is one natural thing that it has a way of brightening your mood nobody hates food except if that person is sick and one way you know that you have ill health you are not fine or you are depressed is a natural tendency to lose appetite so ladies develop natural love for food but please do not get over obsessed with food. You know, there's that feeling when you are angry and you just see chicken. Your mood automatically changes. I know it's temporary, but it has a way. It's a therapy. And you cannot even remember you were angry. Or you just take an ice cream. Or just take chocolates. Whatever it is, ladies. The next and the final one for today is exercising. Ladies, exercising helps your mind to channel your energy to your body. The energy of growing bitter, the energy of growing sad and angry over a situation or a condition. When you go to gym or you go to exercise your body, that energy, instead of compounding sicknesses, illness, hatred in your heart against someone, you begin to disseminate that energy which will help you to release negative toxins out of your body and with time you forget your problem once you begin to exercise there is something about exercising it helps you to develop this uh, cognitive iq where you think of how do i solve this problem this is a challenge how am i going to get it fixed it could be just taking a walk it sit up in your house random skipping with ropes be jumping it could even be dancing whatever the exercise may be ladies just try as much as you can to exercise yourself ladies i hope today's video was helpful to you if you did find it helpful give it a huge thumbs up if you have any suggestions addition let me know in the comment section if you have any video ideas you want me to talk about leave it down below in the comment section thank you all for the love so far and the support i appreciate you all ladies i love you all so much i will see you in the next one bye for now